to date, this is probably the derpiest thing I've done in Minecraft. Hello guys, Griffin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can ride mods in modded Minecraft. This is part of a larger mod called the Engendered Mod, which essentially allows you to treat entities like companions and warriors and battles that you can use for or against you or your opponents. Overall, it's a pretty cool mod, but today I'll just be showcasing a fraction of it. If you want to check out more of it, you can find the link in the description to the Minecraft forum post about this, which provides the download, along with additional information like crafting recipes and so on. If you'll be playing this mod mainly in creative and have no desire to play this in survival, all you'll need to do is simply know that there are two slots to the GUI that you can get items from. You'll need to click on the engender mod, and then from here go all the way down to where you see the faces, and for the most part, all these mobs can be written. Let's summon in a giant and show you what it's like. So you just right click, right click on the mob, and then voila, you have a mob to ride. How come I can't climb up this hill? That's disappointing. But anyways, that's how it works if you're going to do this in creative. But if you want to dare play the challenge of doing this in survival, this over here is what you need to know. In front of me are some crafting recipes. The first one right here is a mob spawner cage. This will be important if you want to actually build the items that are in this mod. What you do is you take the iron beams, put them around an emerald and a crafting table, and you get this. Now, this right here is a crafting recipe for a fusion item. Fusion items are a part of another item, which is what you use to summon these guys. So what you'll need to do is figure out the crafting recipe for each specific mob, or head over to the link which I provide in the description of the developer's post about this mod, and from there you can figure out the crafting recipes to put in the crafting table to get the fusion item. So after that, what you're going to do is take this monster spawner, which is kind of deceptive in the name because it's more of a furnace, put it on the ground, put in one of these things, and then add a fuel source. All you'll need is one charcoal or one piece of coal, and then you'll have to wait for this to smelt. This actually takes quite a while for some of them. I don't know why I picked the one that takes really, really long. Twenty minutes later. Okay, that thing has finally cooked up now. So what you want to do if you want to have a rideable iron golem is you right click with the head, and then click on the mob, and there you go, you have full control of how you ride it. Overall, this is a pretty fun mod. It's something I definitely saw and was like, I want to download this and play around with it. And I've had so much fun with it. So if you guys like this, be sure to leave So I actually kind of forgot to show you one other thing. Okay, there we go. We are now riding the Ender Dragon. This guy's probably my favorite one to ride. As you can see, he clears out terrain similar to the actual Ender Dragon. And overall, it's just really a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you loved it, be sure to subscribe. I'll have a link in the description to the creator of this mod. So yeah, this has been Griffin, and I'll see you next time.